Hey, I just walked through Pleasantville. I think I'm still in Pleasantville. I'm entering Northfield soon though. Heading south on the main street, which was short drive. Anyways, uh, the reason I'm making this video is, I guess I've done a fair amount of urban studies and um, the term gentrification is uh, not a new term to me. And I certainly saw elements of gentrification in Pleasantville, um, but a very unique, I don't know if this strategy is was formed and whether it was explicitly done and maybe it's actually sort of a union of the people instead of racial segregation and uh, marginalization. But what I saw the whole walk through were areas of houses that were older and run down, storefronts that were run down, followed up by brand new buildings, some of them not even uh, with the business moved in, followed by like a building here, a building there was new, a building here, a building there was old, and then some in the middle. Um, so it's interesting, it's like a lot of sporadic, like this is a newly painted building, right? Oh, I can't flip it, sorry. Um, so, I mean, this actually isn't even the best example, but there were lots of examples that I didn't really get to uh, this summary until I saw enough of it and it dawned on me, like I've never seen this before. Um, in other places when there's gentrification type elements, um, they usually happen in an area, uh, central point, and it's sort of like conquered, so to speak. But this was just sporadic buildings here and there that were new, uh, mixed with uh, older buildings. So I don't really know what's evolving here in Pleasantville. Um, and if this is a deliberate, strategy or maybe there's actually a lot of unity among the people current residents and the money coming in wherever it's coming from to build or the people themselves have the money to rebuild but makes me think a lot of the broken glass theory and um, <clears throat> how maybe this is an effort to have lots of nicer nicer in this sense uh, the gentrified sense that they're new. Uh, those kind of buildings will lower crime rate. I don't know. Um, so I don't know. Anyways, trying not to work on too many stereotypes. Uh, but yeah, so Pleasantville is a little bit of a mystery to me. It's, I guess you'd call it like a suburb of Atlantic City. Um, somewhat urbanized suburb right across the bay. I think it's a bay. All right, this video is over.